Psalm 40, verses 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. We must realize that time spent waiting on the Lord is never wasted. To grow as Christians, we must have patience to allow God to do His work in us. In Luke chapter 21 verse 19 it says, In your patience possess ye your souls. Though we may face trials and tribulations on this earth, and though we may sometimes not fully understand or know what we should do, we should with patience wait on the Lord to give us guidance and direction. King Saul is a perfect example of the consequence of being impatient. The Lord had instructed Saul all by the prophet Samuel in 1 Samuel 10 and 8, it says, And thou shalt go down before me to Gilgal, and behold, I will come down unto thee to offer burnt offerings, and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings. Seven days shalt thou tarry, till I come to thee and shew thee what thou shalt do. And so Saul was to go down to Gilgal, and wait for the prophet Samuel to come and offer the sacrifices. But Saul became impatient. In 1 Samuel 13, 8 to 14, it says, And he tarried seven days according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came. And Saul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash. Therefore said I, The Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. And so we see that because of Saul's impatience, he was told that his kingdom would not continue. It's far better to wait on the Lord than to strike out on our own. If Saul had waited, if he had just waited and inquired further of the Lord, he would have received the blessing of God. We must realize that we can do nothing in ourselves. According to Luke 8 and 15, we are to bring forth fruit with patience. In Romans 5 verses 3 to 4, it says, But we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. In Romans 8 and 25, But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. In Romans 15, 4 to 5, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to Jesus Christ. No doubt Saul looked around and he saw the enemy. And he saw the people scattered from him and it troubled him. If he had just held on to God, if he had just with patience done that that God had asked him to do. But sometimes we look around and we see our situation. And sometimes maybe we see the enemy and we get nervous and we get scared. But if we remember that that the Lord has told us that he's commanded us to do. And if we do those things, then he will do his part and he will move for us in spite of the enemy in first timothy chapter 6 verse 11 follow after righteousness godliness faith love patience meekness hebrews chapter 6 verses 10 to 12 for god is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have shewed toward his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister and we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end that ye may be found not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises Hebrews chapter 10, 36 to 37. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. 
So let us patiently wait on the Lord and let us do His will as best we know how, through prayer, study of His Word, and doing good to all whenever and however we can. At the appointed time, God will come to us and show us His will in all things. Patiently waiting on God is not in action, for we continue steadfastly to do those things that we already know to do. If we cry out to Him with our whole heart, God will hear our cry and will establish us firmly on a rock that we cannot be moved, for we will have heard from God Himself. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. In Psalms 27, verses 13 and 14. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. In the book of Revelation, in the 13th chapter, the beast that rises up out of the sea, the Bible says, will make war with the saints and will overcome them. And that'll be for a little while. But it says, here is the faith and the patience of the saints. If we try to take things into our own hands, if we get impatient and try to do our own thing, we will fail. But if we wait on God and wait on His perfect will, then He will come to our rescue, He will come to our aid, and He will will accomplish that that he sets out to do and will receive the promise time spent in prayer in reading of god's word in doing those things that we already know to do we have need of patience for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of god ye might receive the promise for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry let us wait patiently on the lord let us ever be found doing His will. Let us wait for that that is perfect and right. And let all praise and glory be given to Him.